My grandmother was a nurse. I spent a lot of time with my grandparents, and her medicine cabinet was my introduction to opioids. Recovering addict Lona Curry knows the dangers of opioids firsthand. I've done, you know, all there was to offer in the area of drugs, but nothing kept me like, like opioids. Opioids are, it's a beast. It's a beast. And it's a problem destroying communities across the entire nation. Dr. Kevin Cannon sees it often in his emergency room. Five, ten years ago, you'd see it periodically. Uh, now our ER de is dealing with it on a daily basis, multiple times a day. The NC STOP Act is on the horizon and will limit the number of days opioids can be prescribed by doctors. And we're trying to be proactive and again trying to not just be acted upon but trying to take the lead on this. But ahead of that, New Hanover Regional Medical Center is already setting new guidelines. First looking at non-narcotic options for pain medicines and then for the patients that do require narcotics, uh, looking at three, five and seven day um, structured, standardized course of tapering off of the medicines. There have been studies out that you can be, you know, borderline addicted after that first or second dose. Your body does it. It's not a, it's not a choice. Vanessa Sapp knows all too well just how fast opioid drugs can take someone down. Her son Wes passed away back in 2016 after taking what he thought was Percocet. It was actually fentanyl. I never could have imagined that my boy would have been one of the boys that passed away from an overdose. And with new guidelines in place, Curry hopes others get the treatment they need. I mean, there's hope for recovery. I know, you know, I'm sitting here after 22 years of battling. In Wilmington, Brandon Shope, Spectrum News.